With ADPKD, we think about treatment options in kind of two folds. So everybody needs to get basic optimized management, which means everybody needs to be as healthy as possible, the blood pressure, the drinking of fluids. And then there's a particular group of patients, almost two thirds of the patients would be considered at risk of rapid progression. And these patients would reach kidney failure or are predicted to reach kidney failure, needing dialysis or transplant kind of by age 65. For these patients, we want to do everything possible to slow down the disease process. We evaluate them through getting their imaging, so either a CT scan or MRI. Uh, we get the total kidney volume, we adjust it to age and height, and we get the Mayo Imaging classification. So it's important for patients to understand that we can predict when they're going to reach kidney failure. And by doing all this, we kind of understand the severity of the disease. If they have a disease that is severe enough to needing to slow it down, then we uh, recommend starting tolvaptan. So tolvaptan is a new medication, relatively new, has been approved since 2018, has been in clinical trials for almost uh, 20 years now, when it started as clinical trial, was approved in Europe, then in the U United States and other parts of the world. It's been used in clinical practice, so we uh, prescribe that for all patients who would need help with slowing their disease process. Once the patient comes in and decides that, they, that they're going to go on to Telvaptin or GenRQ, then we'll go over some of the things that they can't have, can't do, um, what's expected of them, but usually that is done in a nurse visit. It's almost like a sugar pill, except I have to drink a lot of water throughout the day. And I'm happy to say that Dr. Shabib kind of ran the numbers, did the um, measurements and they shrunk slightly, which is what we want. And I've read that that can happen in the first year on it, that they shrink instead of grow. I think it's usually five to 6% they're supposed to grow. On Tavaptin, it's like cut in half, 3%, but to be negative percent after the first year is amazing. Hoping that Tavaptin just kind of keeps its steady state where they are right now, function, everything. Um, that is the goal. The purpose of this medication is to slow the disease, disease process. It does not cure PKD, it does not completely prevent kidney failure, but it gives us more time uh, on these kidney and hel healthier kidneys with time. We estimate the benefit would be about every four years of treatment, we benefit from delaying kidney failure by about one year. And in other words, we kind of say, if we're on average gonna lose 5% of kidney function every year, if we take tolvaptan, we're gonna gain about one to 1.6 percent every year, and it adds up. So if if I'm able to be on tolvaptan for 10 years, I'm probably gonna gain about 13 percent of kidney function, as compared to just kind of let the natural history of the disease go on. Patients who are on this medication, they're gonna be feeling thirsty, they're gonna be drinking a lot, and also urinating a lot, because that's the effect of the medication, that's how it works. The medication, the tovapen, I think has helped me a lot. As you can see, I've been doing this for 21 years. The majority of people, when they reach six years old, they are on dialysis, or they need kidney transplant. Dr. Shabib always say that he doesn't see that I'm going to need one of this because I'm doing so well. So I think, yes, Tovapin has helped me a lot.